Hi puzzle lovers, welcome to my report of the first unofficial Austrian online jigsaw battle which finished just some hours ago. While waiting for the competition to start, I was wearing my black Austria hoodie to celebrate the fact that the first Austrian jigsaw competition ever, to my knowledge at least, was about to begin soon. The event had only six participants, Lucia, Anna, Lotte, Lena, Jule and me. All of us were at the World Championship in Spain this year and we met there for the first time. This group might be the core group of some bigger competitions in the future and perhaps even the founding members of a future Austrian Jigsaw Puzzle Federation. Who knows? Unfortunately, Mary is missing this time. She is on holidays abroad. But let us start with the competition puzzle. Anna was the main organizer of this competition. She had chosen two puzzles and sent them in packages to us all. We opened the puzzles simultaneously and found two nice Ravensburger puzzles in it. One colorful flower and bird scene and the puzzle Avatar the Way of Water. The Avatar puzzle was for today's battle. The second puzzle will be used in the future. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In the close-up you can see that Anna chose a very interesting puzzle for us, ideal for a speed competition. Not easy at all with lots of blues on the top. Three, two, eins, Since Anna told us that the box will be closed with four stickers and not with a shrink wrap, I had prepared a sharp knife. I opened the box, ripped open the plastic bag carefully checking and double checking that no pieces were in there, throwing away the bottom of the box and here we go. I used the usual tactic, namely flipping all the pieces and sorting out the edge pieces during this process. It took me approximately 30 seconds to open the box and four and a half more minutes to flip all pieces. I then started with the bottom pieces namely the lake or the sea and I first built the border between sea and the mountains and only then added the edge pieces to the sea. This sea parts were very distinct with the color, namely a bright teal color, very distinct from the other blue tones and then I pulled out all the white pieces after yeah, doing some parts of the edge, but the next part was the white pieces, lots of splashes in the left bottom part of the puzzle. Also there, there are different uh, tones of white and light blue, so it's not that all these approximately 40 pieces are the same, but still, of course, this part of the puzzle took some time. There is a fin of the sea dragon uh, that is also already built. And then I had to make a decision of which part of the puzzle to build next. Please Note that I have made a very slow time lapse this time, only tenfold uh, sped, sped up. So I have lots of time to tell you the progress of the puzzle. Uh, I obviously, as you can see, I decided to focus on the boulders are in the water 
I felt that I made some decent progress. I was not sure if I should start with the red wings of this beautiful sea dragon, which is called Zurak in the language of the Navi. I watched the video or I watched the movie of Avatar 2 in the cinema, but of course it did not help me building the puzzle. I am starting to build the rider of the sea dragon. I think it could be Jake Sully, but I'm not sure. And at the moment I am pulling out the lighter colors which are quite distinct, namely the lighter colors that form the sea dragon. And at the moment most of the pieces left are from the red wings of the animal and the blue sky pieces on top. So very different sections that lie in front of me. I'm trying to build the border between the orange and blue area. And from now on, I've included on the top left the synchronized footage of the Teams conference that we had, because it's the time where Julia has already finished the top at uh, the bottom part of her puzzle and she is already in the finishing phase, namely the sky. The sky is a big area, I'm guessing approximately 100 or 150 pieces and it's not solid color there are several different shades, but since we were puzzling in the evening, the different shades were not easy to distinguish. Natural daylight would help us all a lot. Okay, it's only a matter of seconds now that Yule will finish. And you see that I have quite some area left and the same is true for all of the other puzzlers. And then it happened. Gratuliere. Yule had a great time. She finished the puzzle under one hour and I had approximately 50 pieces left at the moment. I shape sorted my last pieces. Usually if I want, want to find a very prominent piece like a piece with three prongs, I just fetch all the three prongs so a shape sort during puzzling. So I first pick out only the three prongs, puzzle along, then pick out the three ins. And yeah, it is finally, I'm in the home stretch, six, five, four, three, two puzzle pieces left. And at a time of one hour, six minutes and some seconds, I'm finally done. Fertig. <laughs> so the adrenaline 
rush uh, could calm down a little bit. Of course, I took a picture to remember the moment. I'm quite pleased with my second place and my time of 1 hour 6 minutes and I think 30 something seconds. And then I rearranged my camera and I just watched for the rest of the competition. I've sped up the time lapse a little bit more. It was very fun to watch all our other competitors that were still puzzling fast and furious and it was getting obvious that there will be a rather close match between Lucia and Lotte for the third plus spot and it was Lucia. She was still missing two pieces, found one, searching for the last piece and luckily here it was. She finished Good in one be, hour, Lucia. 21 minutes and Hello. some seconds. Then, only two minutes later, it was Lotte. Yay! <laughs> some more cheering. She finished in one hour, 23 minutes and some seconds. And since we had set ourselves a time limit of one hour, 30 minutes, Anna officially closed the competition. That's it. <laughs> okay. Now that the puzzling event was over, we were chatting along, we were giving feedback, we were discussing different aspects of meeting each other in the near future. So we will meet each other before Christmas in Vienna and puzzle together and there might be some more competitions to come. There might be an organization to be founded. It's interesting times ahead for puzzling in Austria. Thank you for the nice competition, Anna. Congratulations, Julia for the impressive win. It was all very much fun and I hope that everybody that watched my report till now has enjoyed it as well. See you! Bye!